Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the weekly review special for week 10 of the Game Decathlon competition. This week, a couple unusual landmarks hit right on the money. First, the overall, directly at 4,000 points, exactly. Best round, still from a couple weeks ago, at 4,648, but a bunch of games have retired over the last couple weeks, so that is the reason for the lower score. Current virtual best, though, despite all of that, is still in a good place, and despite new retirements this week, the virtual best still went up 4,852 points, and the all-time virtual best at 7,252 points, which exactly matches the next landmark on the real-world decathlon. Looking at the 10 games individually, PCM 19 career mode, 175 points, good total for early season, teams off to a really good start, we're in first place. In the stage racer, I'm in first place, and I'm also into the Tour de France now. Mixed bag so far, lost a ton of time on a cobbled stage, but I've had a stage win and a podium on a stage already, and both won and lost time. Positions improving, but... Uh, I don't know how much I'll be able to do in the race after uh, losing five minutes to at least the stage winner uh, on the, the one cobbled stage. FM20 Zero to Hero, approaching the end of the season, 160 points close to the record, but I've just got to climb a few divisions before I'm going to really see that score get to anything decent. Surviving the Aftermath, Rebel Inc., Transport Fever 2, all of them are complete and waiting for some sort of replacement. Draft Day Sports Pro Basketball, 204 points, close to the record. Hitting the end of the season, playoff time coming up, so looking forward to that. Uh, a five seed, hopefully I can do something with that. It's not going to be easy, though. We're, we're still missing kind of the one key piece, and, and it is hurting us, uh, missing that small forward. But the team is getting better, stronger, season by season. If I can fill that gap, we'll be in good shape. New one onto the channel, Founder's Fortune, that I launched this week. Game in early access. It's a colony management sim, but unlike most colony management sims, this one is very, very direct about each individual character within your colony and, and addressing their needs and wants and desires and health. Uh, and it has that defense element, which is enjoyable. And then Broken Lines that launched a week ago, uh, rapidly going through that series. Uh, it's not the biggest campaign, so I have a feeling it'll be finished before too long, but things are going well. 370 points there. And then FM20, the Swansea City series, right to the end of the season. Uh, just a couple games left to go now, and it's looking like the most likely thing to happen over the last couple games is that we will probably make the promotion playoffs. And so we have a chance to see the Premier League, but it's not going to be easy. We're definitely not the strongest team out there, but it's been a good season. Uh, the all-time virtual best side, uh, the only change is right at the edge of the standings, moving from 11th to 10th, passing another active game. FM gained a few points, but Stage Racer for uh, PCM19 gained more points. Uh, winning that stage in the Tour de France and getting that podium picked up some decent points, and so we slide up into 10th place with that game. And then debuting Broken Lines and Founder's Fortune uh, over last week or this week, uh, both of them into the top 20 and top 30 respectively, and moving slightly above. Uh, the last one that was on the list was 30th. It moves down two spots with both of those games being the two that moved above it. But that's it for this review special. Short, sweet, simple this week. 
got a lot of new titles coming out uh, in the next handful of weeks, so there will be some new games coming. Uh, so I'm just kind of pushing through these couple of series right now, uh, and then we're we're down to a steady diet of some staples. Uh, I've got one game per day that's on the long-term staples, uh, and then other than that, it's just featuring a couple games that are hot and heavy and lots of episodes. But that's that's it for this one, like I said. So I'll. Uh, See you next time. Have a good week. Bye for now.